Second one, notes, histories, what to use and when and where. Notes, activities, histories. And this kind of alludes to what I was just talking about. So a lot of folks, here's what they do. When Melissa calls, they go and they open a note. And they journal. Melissa called. She's interested in buying from us next spring. She'd like to call us, I guess to call her next Tuesday. She's very interested in our product. And people will journal on and on and on and on and on. And they're basically, they've, they've moved the database from, the, from what was just a Rolodex to now a journal. The problem with the journal is we're not using those buckets that we talked about. It's hard to search, it's hard to report on, and it's hard, the more people and the more context you have, it's hard to go back and, and see what's been going on. So in terms of what do I use a note for, okay, we don't use it to record phone calls, we don't use it to journal about what's going on. Notes are primarily good for background information. You might say, Melissa works half a day on Fridays and she loves Texas barbecue. Okay, that, that's background information. You can put communication style, style. Maybe they're colloquial in their speaking. Maybe they want you to get to the point. Um, different things like that. We also use this sometimes for inter-team communication. So if I'm going to write a note about somebody or kind of describe something, and, and the goal here is we're keeping these kind of short. We put serial numbers there. I put, you know, just things like that. That's a good place for that. Now, histories are business communications, business contacts. This, oh, and, and to answer your question, Lynn, this is the desktop version, but this is all the same things in both versions. Um, but histories are going to be things, um, and I'll try to make a distinction between what version we're on. I'm on the desktop right now, and so if I wanted to record that I had a history with Melissa, I could click on the history button at the top. And that works in both desktop and web. Desktop version has an option to do a control H, and you see this brings up my history box. This is where you want to go to put information about Melissa called, I called her, I left a message, we had a meeting, we had to do scheduled, all sorts of stuff you can do here. So I can say what type of activity this was, and these are customizable. You can, you can add to it, you know, sales call or something like that. But in this case, I might say this was a phone call, the call was completed, what did we talk about? I can either type it in or select from the drop down. If you want to attach a file, you can attach a document or a PDF if there was something about that, and then down below you have details you can write. And you see it timestamps the current date and time. Now, you can certainly, on a Sunday night, go in here and record all your calls for the week. So I click here and I go back a few days and record that this was the 16th on 2 o'clock, and maybe it wasn't 2 o'clock, but it was 12.30, let's do a p.m. So ACT, ACT has the flexibility of allowing you to, to backfill uh, opportunities. Now the cool thing about this is you put this in and now it shows up on my history. Now you can see there's different things here. I've got email sent, I've got call completed. I can actually now go into my field types and say I just want to see activity histories. So now we're just looking at the calls that were made. So when, when Melissa calls me, here's what I do. I scroll through my notes and see what background information is there. Hey, she loves Texas barbecue, so maybe I'll suggest doing that. Um, under histories, I can see when we talked last or how many times we've talked or how many meetings that we have had. Now, activities is the third thing in this, and this is things that go on my calendar. So in terms of my, my phone call here with Melissa, first thing I did is I checked my notes. I recorded the phone call. And she might say, hey, why don't we get together for lunch next Friday? In that case, I can go up here and select meeting. I can choose from the drop down next Friday the 2nd. We can say this is going to go from 11 to 12.30. And we'll call this barbecue lunch because that's what she likes. And you see what this does, this goes to my activity tab. Now here's the difference between the three. Activities, as far as ACT is concerned, are things that are scheduled to be done but have not yet been done. 
So this is going to go in my calendar where I can actually go and uh, let's say we go to view and calendar and we look at the work week calendar and let's go look at the second. See right there, there's my calendar and I guess you move it around here if I want to. I can right click and go back to the contact here if I want to. Or I just go back and click on contacts again and it takes me right back. But um, activities or calendar items, they also show up in the task list. So if I go to view or I click on the left hand side to my task list. I'm a hard time with that sticking right now, but we'll come back and there we go. There's my task list and I can say, hey, let's look at the task list for um, next week or in the future. And it would show up there. So I've got, you see, I've got a lot of other tasks that are on this database, just as an example. Typically, you would do this maybe for the current day or for today. You'd see that there. Um, an activity, when it's cleared, so once I've done it, I clear it. That means that I mark it as done, and then it goes to my history. So now you see there's my barbecue lunch for demo. It's now a history instead of an activity. And what that means is that's going to show up on my history reports. So my second tip today was what's the difference between notes, activities, history, what to use, and where. So notes for background information, for team communication, we don't use them to journal. Histories record business communications. Um, activities are things that we have scheduled to be done that we have not yet done. Um, you can send a meeting invitation um, from here. And it's when you go to your call meeting here, there is a um, send invitation email checkbox right there that you can send those as well. All right, there's that question. Let's go on to our next one.